two bottles, two drink bottles shown below are similar in shape. So this is bottle A and this is bottle B. They have the same shape. Okay, the sizes are different, but the shape is the same. Bottle A has a diameter of four centimeters. So this is the diameter. Say so the diameter of this bottle A is four centimeters. And the diameter of this bottle B is nine centimeters. So this is what we know. And the bottle B has a diameter of nine centimeter. The bottle B holds 900 millimeter, 900 milliliters ml of water. So the question is how much water does A hold? Okay, so this is a problem of similar uh, figures. So first we need to find the scale factor. So I'll write SF scale factor is equal to, it's always good, uh, you can find the scale factor of bottle B with respect to A. So this is 9 over, this is 9 over 4. The scale factor is 9 over 4. So I don't want to use a calculator. So this is 4.5. You can use a calculator, divide by 2, which is 2.25. So the scale factor is 2.25. So if you want to use a calculator, it is menu run 9, menu run 9 divided by 4 is 2.25. Okay, now as we are dealing with volume, this is volume, this is volume. So volume, if you want to find the volume of uh, B, so B is a bigger bottle, so I'll write with respect to B. So volume of B, of bottle B, is the scale factor cube, is the scale factor cube times the volume of A, the volume of A. So it's very logical, uh, volume of A, okay, that means if you multiply the volume of A by the cube of the scale factor, you get the volume of B. Okay, so because when you, when two figures are similar, you have to multiply the bigger, you have to multiply this, the cube of the scale factor by the to the volume of the smaller figure. Okay, so let me write what we know. So we can say, well, volume of B is 900 is equal to 2.25 cube times volume of volume volume of a so now i'm going to divide both side by if you divide this side by 2.25 cube for which we need a calculator so you have to divide this side also by 2.25 cube so this and this gets cancelled so we can say volume of a volume of A. You can also remember like this, if you want to find the volume of the smaller shape, you divide the volume of the bigger shape, so you can say, also write this formula, volume of A divided by, this is the volume of 900 is the volume of A, sorry, volume of B, sorry, this is volume of B, if you want to find the volume of the smaller figure, it's the volume of B divided by the scale factor cube. The scale factor cube. So let's get the calculator. So this is 900 divided by 2.25 cube. Okay, so let's get the calculator. So this is 900 divided by 2.25 cube just like that, so that is 79, you can say round, round this to the nearest number, so this you can say this is 80 nearest 10, that is 80 milliliters, 79.1, I'm rounding to the nearest 10, because this is rounded to the nearest 10, okay, so this is 80 milliliters, 80 milliliters, you have rounded to the nearest 10 rounding to nearest 10. Nearest 
10 milliliter. Okay, let's look at one more question. James draws two <coughs> regular hexagons. The <coughs> smaller hexagon, excuse me, sm smaller hexagon has a side of three centimeters. So this is a smaller hexagon. This is three centimeters. Okay, the area of, and the area is 23.4 centimeters squared. So this is 23.4 centimeter squared. So this is, I'll say, call this S smaller. And this is the bigger. Okay, and the larger. So let me write, not bigger, larger. S for smaller, L for larger. The area of this larger is 52.6 52.6 centimeter squared. So we want to find what's the length of this. So this is X. We want to find this X. What's the side length of the larger hexagon? So let's write the formula so we can say the area of l area of l is equal to scale factor squared we are talking about area so it will be scale factor squared times area of s times area of s so if you divide <laughs> the scale factor of l by the scale factor of s Oh, sorry, it should have gone the other way around. Yeah, that's right. So scale factor of large is, uh, the large hexagon is scale factor squared times the area of the smaller. So I'm going to divide both sides by area of S, that is the smaller one. So area of S, which is the smaller hexagon, I'm also going to divide this side by area of smaller hexagon, area of S. So what will get cancelled? This and this will get cancelled. So this is the formula. So you can see the scale factor squared, the scale factor squared is equal to uh, area of L, that is area of the larger hexagon, divided by the area of the smaller hexagon. So let's uh, write the number. So area of larger one is 52.6 divided by 23.4. So let's get the calculator out. So this is 52.6 divided by 23.4, which is 2.24. I want the whole number. So I'm going to write this 2.247 dot dot. So this is 2.247, isn't it? 247, yeah, 247. Uh, okay, let me write it properly. This is 2.247, 2.247. This is the whole number. But, okay, so let me write. So, let me write. So, scale factor, if you take the square root of this side, if you take the square root of scale factor squared, you have to take the square root of this number, which is 2.247 dot dot dot. So we can see the scale factor. If you know the scale factor squared, we can find the scale factor by square rooting it. So I'm going to do shift square root, shift answer. So square root of answer, it is one point. I'll say make this a neat number. This is 1.5. So the scale factor is 1.5. This is to one dp. Okay, so this is, in this video, I've talked about volume. Then this is about area, now we're coming to length. So when you're talking about length, you can say three, the x would be, so let me do it here. So we can say, let me use a blue color or green color. Can I say x times x, which is a larger one, would be scale factor times three. Okay, because this is increasing by scale factor. Area is increasing by scale factor squared, and volume would be increasing by scale factor cube. So we know the scale factor is 1.5. So this would be scale factor, which is 1.5 times 3, which is 4.5. So this is has a scale factor. This is increasing by scale factor of 1.5. 
So the length of this larger hexagon would be 4.5 centimeter. 